So today we're going to be doing a service mode tutorial for the Beko WM74135W. So, to activate service mode, you hold down the start pause button and you turn the knob. Just one point, wherever. And then you'll come up with E dash dash, or if you have saved error codes from, for example, you've had an error like E18 in the past, then they'll come up here. And but because I've had no errors in the past since I've done this server cycle last, it says E dash dash. And no matter where you put the knob, it always says the same thing, apart from if you turn it off, then obviously it will turn off. You press start, that will advance it. So 061, what this means is this is the um, software version. So my software version 061, yours will probably be different. Um, the next time you press it, it will start flashing the lights, every one of them. These should all be on and then all be flashing, like so. Obviously if they don't flash there's a problem somewhere. Um, like for example if if this light, if the quicker wash light wasn't flashing then there'd be an issue somewhere. Um, probably a bulb issue or something. You advance it, it will turn clockwise as you can see. You can see that button. Yeah. And it will say 4 in the display, the rinse light will be on. You turn that on, the end light then comes on. It says 5 and it tumbles anti-clockwise. Next time you advance it, it will go into spin. So now it will do up to, this does up to 1300 on the final spin. Um, but it will say 6, rinse and spin. There we go. I think that's 1200 actually. But if you advance it, it will then start filling. So first of all, goes through the pre-wash compartment. And it's a seven on the display, rinse, spin and end it on. Then for the next one it will fill through the main wash. So it's eight and then wash light on. And then it will fill through the softener, which is nine, wash and end. So then it skips 10 completely and it goes into just tumbling. Now I assume this is heating stage as well. So you have to check with the thermometer um, what temperature it's reaching, but um, I'm not going to let you do that. So it will say 11, wash, spin and end. And then 12 is draining and it feels a bit as well while it's draining. So 12, wash and rinse, and that drains all the water out. And obviously it doesn't finish draining it all out, as you can see. Then you press it again and it, it would have cleared all over because so no matter what you'll get E dash dash. But that's been an error in service mode. It will still leave a bit of water in there, so you'll probably want to run a drain after that. But this has always done that, I don't know whether it's normal for other Beckos. But you'll want to run a quick drain just to get the last bit of water out. There we go. When you hear the drain turn more easily, then you can turn it off. And then obviously leave the door and drawer ajar, as you should. So. Thank you very much for watching this service mode tutorial. Uh, hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, then please leave a like and a comment. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.